Hi there guys, this is Drew Beasy, and today we are playing Age of Conan. Um, a little bit of progress on my character, uh, or if you haven't seen the first video, a little, let's just start out with what my character is. Uh, my character is a necromancer, and the necros on this game, as I've mentioned before, have, uh, well, now I know a little bit more about them, now they have, now I know that they have, uh, two different skill tree, uh, selects. They have, um, kind of what's a, a, a dot-based class, which, for those of you who aren't familiar to uh, MMOs, dots means damage over time, and it's basically just spells that, you know, you you drop onto somebody and then kind of just, you know, leave them be, and the the damage over time equivalates out to them dying. Um, I'm not playing my character that way. I am specking into what I call, like, Minion Master, and I call it that because that's, that's a, it's a term from Diablo 2 that, uh, reference their necromancers just because they of the pure amount of uh, minions they have and they they could just throw out a bunch of people okay so what we're what we're doing here because you probably can't really understand what these guys are saying but I'm talking to these people to try and progress this quest that I've been doing and it revolves around this this mark that this sorceress has been putting on people and it basically allows her to control people and by doing that she's she's hoping to basically make an army if I'm not mistaken the storyline on this game is pretty good I just play so many games that it's kinda hard to keep up sometimes but yeah I'm, I'm basically specking my guy into more of a minion master style to where I just plan on having a bunch of goons with me as you can see behind me here uh, I have four guys and that can actually turn into five depending on the situation like with a, a special for necromancers on this game whenever you do a fatality you summon the ice golem and he pretty much destroys everything between one to twenty I mean he's a, he's a real big help well, yeah, the hill you'll see uh, some conversation about the mark of Akron or such with the A. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it, but it's some bad shit. It's not good. No boy, no. Eagles, I see. Uh huh. Three thousand. Over three thousand. Okay. But yes, um, playing my guy more of a minion master style. Uh, I've read several guides on necromancers in this game, and PvP wise, which is kind of what I'm thinking I want to do with this guy. Uh, eventually, once I level up a little bit and kind of get more used to the game style, I I've heard in PvP that with you know eight, nine little minions running around, you can really cause some havoc because it's kind of hard to concentrate on someone attacking you when you have nine people attacking you, not counting the actual necromancer. So ten people, you know, just jumping up on your shit. It's kind of hard to keep your head straight. And you, you, you actually saw that in Diablo 2 quite a bit, and that's kind of where I, I'm, I'm coming from on this. I played so much Diablo 2 as a kid that... and with that I always played necromancers. Most of the time that I played Bone or, uh, or uh, Poison Dagger, but that is another story from another time. So yeah, we're basically uh, going to talk to the sorceress at this point to uh, to gather more information because we've been going undercover for the rebellion to help to uh, try and uh, try and defeat this woman because they they feel as if they can't beat her on her own, just like head to head. They gotta infiltrate her shit and take her down from the inside. You know, James Bond shit. And I'm just basically gonna try and uh, get get in here and there's a couple of minions which really in this game really isn't that much to handle I mean I don't know if you guys have like, watched my health in some of these videos it doesn't go down a whole lot and that's partially because of the class I play and how I play it but that's also some just how you know the game's kinda easy it's not the most difficult MMO in the world yeah, you'll see me uh, kind of just run through here, and I, I just kind of gather them up. I got tired of taking them on one at a time. Because I actually, uh, once you level up the Necros, you actually get a couple of AoEs, which 
to those who aren't familiar with the MMOs, again, uh, AoEs are AO area of effect spells, which basically means, you know, I can attack more than one person at a time with it. And you'll see me utilize that here quite a bit, just because I got tired of just aimlessly grinding, which is how you level in this game. You grind, and you grind, and you grind, and you grind, and you grind some more. And then once you're done grinding, you die. And after you die, you, you, you grind more. So yeah, I'm basically just uh, going to reset my guys here because I got killed. And then we're going to go at it again. And the way uh, the minions work on this game, because I know I was going to start and say that earlier, but I didn't finish it. Um, they work on a point system, and the higher your level is, the more pet points you get. And obviously, the more pet points you have, the more creatures you have at your disposal at any given time. And for me right now, it's four, but with the ice golem, five. But at level like 20, I think it is. I think it's like six or seven or eight or something. Like that. It's a lot of like it, a lot of guys. It's a mayhem. And each different pet has a different amount of pet points that it takes up. Like there's uh. There's several different styles of minions you can summon. And I'll get back to that in just a second. Where have you been, you lazy wretch? Listen, I you, you... Your eyes and feed them to my slaves. I... Maybe then you can wow. never to desert me. That is that is just harsh. Of course you do, worm. That's why I tolerate <laughs> your presence. It is strong who has angered me. Yes. The treacherous dog has ever been my puppet. Yet he has somehow slipped his leash. He defies my will, despite she's the She's basically talking about somebody that she's been working with, and that she uh, tried to make him command this, with this it. mark. Your education has been lacking. Not basically just tell her that I'll, I'll do whatever she, uh, whatever the heck she wants me to do. Because that's what I've been told to do, and that's the quest line. It's not the worst quest line I've ever played, definitely. But it's uh it's no oblivion. <laughs> it's a lot like oblivion, especially in the cutscenes like this. I guess it wouldn't be like oblivion, it'd be like Morrowind. Well, I guess Daggerfall was like that. I want to find out what I'm not so sure. About Arena. I don't know off the top of my head. Okay, I, I've never played Arena. I was lying to you guys. I tricked you into thinking I, I was cool enough that I actually had played Arena. I haven't. Yes, I am. I am precious. Okay, guys, thanks for coming on my adventure with me today. Until next time, bye.